hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be sharing few best solutions to speed up any internet connection adapter on your windows 10 and windows 11. so let's quickly get it started the first thing that you will have to do you need to make a right click on the windows icon then click on device manager now here you have to look for the network adapters double click on it now here you will find all kind of adapter for your Wi-Fi, for your LAN connection. So whichever connection you have the problem with, let's say I'm having the problem with the Wi-Fi. So I will look for the Intel Wi-Fi or the Realtek Wi-Fi. Just make a right click on it. Click on update driver. Then click search automatically for drivers. And if there are update available, kindly go ahead and update it because outdated driver may not give you the best internet connection speed. So this is the first thing that you will have to do. Next, you need to click on your Windows search. Type ncpa.cpl. Hit the enter key. And now here you will find all kind of your internet connection adapter. So depending which adapter, which connection you want to troubleshoot. For example, I'm taking the Wi-Fi. So I just have to right click on the Wi-Fi here. Then I will click on properties. And then here you have to click on configure. This will bring up another box. Now here from the top menu option, you have to click on power management. And here just make sure that this option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power option has been unchecked. This option should not be checked. Then from the top menu option only click on advanced. And now here in the property section, there are a few settings that you will have to apply. And then you have to look for path channel intolerant. Now this option you will have to keep disabled. All right, so click on the drop down and choose disabled. And then next you will have to look for roaming aggressiveness. Now this is very important part. So make sure that you listen to me very carefully. Now once you click on roaming aggressiveness, on the right side in the value section, you will find few entries like lowest, medium low, medium high and the highest. Now depending that how close your device is to the router and the modem, accordingly you have to choose this value. Now if this value has been selected to lowest, you will be getting the best and the high internet connection speed. But the condition is that your PC, laptop or your mobile should be very close to your router or your modem so the distance between both the devices is approximately four to five feet or seven eight feet then you can select the lowest option but if your router has been located to any other floor to the top floor in the ground floor and the distance is like around 10 to 15 feet or more than that then kindly do not select the lowest option as i said the lowest option will give you the best internet speed, but the only condition is that your router should be very close to your PC or your laptop. Okay, so if you are close, then you can go and select the lowest option. But if the router is far, then you can go with either medium low or medium depending how far is your router. All right, then you have to look for the preferred band. Now the preferred band give you two options here, 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. So if you have the 5 GHz supported on your device and on your modem, then you can go and select the 5 GHz band. Once you select this option, on the top you will find channel weight for 5 GHz. You have to select this to auto. Then you have to click on OK. And now again make a right click on the Wi-Fi or the adapter, whichever you are using. Click on properties. This time you have to click on Internet Protocol version 4. And here at the bottom you will find you the following DNS server address. Choose this option and in the preferred you have to type 1.1.1.1. And in the alternate you have to type 1.0.0 and 1. This is the Cloudflare DNS address. If you want to use the Google one, so you can also use that. Both the IP address will be in the description. So once you are done, you have to click on OK. Click on OK again. And once you are done with this, finally, what I would recommend you that please bring up your browser, whichever you use, and go ahead and clear the browsing data and reset the browser settings. So if you're using the Google Chrome, then you can bring it up. Click on the three dot, click on settings. From the left in menu option, click on privacy and security. 
then you have to click on clear browsing data now here from basic choose to advanced time range select to all time now keep all the options checked here just keep password and autofill form data unchecked then you have to click on clear data and wait until this has been completed finally from the left menu option only you will be getting reset settings if you don't find here then you can click on advanced options and then you will find reset setting click on it then click restore setting to the original default and click reset setting again now once you are done with all these steps finally you will have to restart your modem restart your computer and you will find that the internet connection speed has been boosted and you will be getting much more improved connectivity now so hopefully guys this video will surely help you to speed up your internet connection speed and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section